Hello, and welcome to Post Walk Weekly, Episode 4, Day 118 or 19 of Putin's War. I begin the video reversed today because it's so calm and peaceful and beautiful down here uh, at the sea on my island. This is the Stomio, the mouth of where the sea comes in to fill the Gulf of Yera. This land is uh, less than five minute walk from my house. There's a pier I built out into the sea to catch the sand and make a bit of a beach. I'm making a second one now. At the far end there is the Gulf of Yera and the mountains that encircle it. And I give you this peaceful introduction We all need moments of peace, but we cannot let that be enough and allow us to think that's the whole story and that we can forget everything else. I will be back in a moment. And I realized today uh, that what I want more than anything is to be uh, positive in the face of everything we're facing. I think I was getting a little more negative since I've been home. When I was walking every day, I was meeting people and there was an optimism in the n newness and in the dedication of what I did. And now that I'm home, and every day I'm just kind of in my patterns. I was feeling more depressed. So I listened to Ukraine Cast. It's, uh, I believe, daily put out by the BBC. And they were interviewing a man who was a DJ who was saying that it's not the time, a, a Ukrainian man, uh, it's not the time to be celebrating or partying. Uh, but there's still a need for music. And he talked about um, a very famous singer that had sung an old Ukrainian song uh, a cappella in, I think, in Kiev on one of the first nights, and it became very uh, widespread uh, video. And um, music is good for the soul. It's encouraging. And all arts are important. And I know I mentioned one day on my march about um, uh, the birthday of a poet that President Zelensky uh, reminded people of, and he read a poem. So because I am not a musician but a poet, I'm going to give you a little poem today that I wrote. Oh... I don't know, possibly 10 years ago, and I was sitting in a very beautiful place watching the sun, well, the sun was setting behind me, so the colors were changing, and I thought about a book that I read my children called uh, Frederick, and it's a quite an old book, but it was republished in paperback, and you could get it when my children were young. Uh, in the 80s. Uh, I'm pretty sure it must be still available. It's about a mouse who isn't working and he isn't gathering the grain and he isn't doing what everyone else is doing and everyone is like, Frederick, what are you doing? You know, join us and get this work done. And he was doing something else because he was gathering the colors and the sights and he was going to share the stories all winter long. 
So uh, even in the mouse world, <laughs> uh, at least Leo Leone believes um, art is needed and beauty, and we have to remember the beautiful and positive things. So my poem is called, a book called Frederick. Four fishing boats trolling, a sky sifting to mauve, one seagull sitting tall on an islet, one poet sipping a beer. Elsewhere, tension, violence, anger, disharmony, stress, and deceit. This poet offers just this against the darkness. And I think that is kind of the magic of uh, President Zelensky. He's got to be angry. Ukrainians have to be angry. The violence is apparent. There's so much tension and stress. And he persists in being positive. And so a little bit of poetry and music can help. Thank you. Take care.